The CMA exam has two parts covering 12 competencies. Part one is called Financial Planning, Performance, and Analytics. It focuses a lot on topics from managerial accounting. You'll need to know budgeting, forecasting, variance analysis, KPIs, how to allocate manufacturing overhead, absorption costing versus variable costing. You'll also need to know the various cost systems, job order costing, process costing, and activity-based costing. So there's a lot of managerial accounting topics on part one of this exam. But you'll also need to know fundamental concepts from financial accounting, topics like the financial statements and revenue recognition. Finally, part one covers topics like accounting information systems, corporate governance, and internal controls. Here's a breakdown of the topics for part one of the exam. Part two of the exam is called strategic financial management. It focuses a lot on topics from corporate finance and financial statement analysis. You'll need to know about risk and return, the cost of capital, and capital budgeting. That's things like MPV, IRR, and the payback method. You'll also need to know about valuation, M&A, and how to calculate and interpret financial ratios. But part two also has topics for managerial accounting. Topics like break-even analysis, target costing, and decisions like the make-or-buy decision and seller process further decision. Finally, part two covers risk management and ethics. Here's a breakdown of all the topics on part two. If you're a college student, you'll definitely want to review your notes from financial accounting and managerial accounting before taking part one of the CMA exam. You'll also want to review your notes from corporate finance before taking part two of the CMA exam. 